Welcome back to Ad Art. In today's Ad Art, we're going to be drawing something that lots of you have asked me to draw, which is a mermaid. So let's make a start. First, we'll draw the mermaid's head, come out from the cheek, down to the chin, and back up towards the ear. Put the ear in here. We'll give her a pearl earring as well. Little nose and a friendly smile. Some big eyes. The part of the cheek there. Pupils. We'll give her some nice flowy hair as so though it's underwater. As you might know, mermaids live in the sea, um, and they have the upper body of a woman, and the lower body is the tail of a fish, so they can swim around really quickly under the sea. And the male mermaids are called mermen. of hair as though it's kind of being held up by the water. You can put as many curls and strands of hair as you wish. onto her neck. We'll give her a necklace, again made of pearls there. We'll give her a matching pearl bracelet. Perhaps she's waving to us there. her body. Bring that down. On the other side as well. Put her other arm out. Almost balancing herself in the water upright. the bracelet. Fingers in. Let's give her a belt. Do the belt buckle like a shell. band of the belt going round her waist. Bring her tail down, up and around. On the other side as well, we'll stop there. And if we bring it above, it looks like it's slightly bent to the great big fishy tail. Making this slightly frayed at the edges if you ever look at um, a 
fish's tail, it's never smooth. Put some detail in there. We can start putting some scales in. We'll just offset them so in between and the next level in between those. Can you see how I'm bending them with the shape of her body? So it gives the impression that the scales are twisted round. There we go. We'll give her a little crop top there. hair in on either side. Let's make this look a bit more underwatery with some rocks in the foreground here. Some on the other side. some seaweed also, like her hair, just gently drifting with the tide. That back and round so it looks like it's behind the other piece. Put a third one in as well. Now the most famous story of um, mermaids was by Hans Christian Andersen. I'll put a little sea anemone on this rock. We'll put some coral in here as well. And coral tends to grow, looks a lot like trees, and branches of trees, so we'll of that reaching out here. It often has little knobbly bits on the outside. Okay, so that one looks good. I think we'll put some more in here. I might add the sort of knobbly details when I colour it in at the end, otherwise we'll be here all day. But you can spend some time adding those little branches to the coral. You can make them whatever shape you like really, it doesn't have to be exactly as I'm drawing here. Very sort of organic shape so you can choose which way the branches go. Some more seaweed on this side, frame it. Now the most famous story of a mermaid is by Hans Christian Andersen, the story called The Little Mermaid. And uh, there's a famous bronze sculpture in Copenhagen Harbour of the mermaid there. Um, and it was made into a film by Disney, um, starring a uh, mermaid called Ariel. Fish up here looking at our mermaid. and a tail at the back here. It's interesting to do a bit of research on tropical fish. You find some like this one that are stripy and have quite long noses and others that are 
flat and wide, like sails. Some air rising to the surface there. shocked to have seen a mermaid. No. Some more air bubbles. And apparently some famous people have claimed to have seen mermaids over the years. Just like this fish I'm drawing. Um, Christopher Columbus, during his exploration of um, the Caribbean, claimed he saw one. And as well as um, Blackbeard the pirate. Um, but some people think it was probably a manatee that they saw. Actually, people still report sighting mermaids to this day. So, so next time you're at the beach, Keep your eyes peeled, you never know. Let's draw a little seahorse here. at our mermaid. picture of our mermaid under the sea with her fishy friends. I hope you've enjoyed drawing along with that one. It was fun to draw. Um, do remember to subscribe so you get to see all the ad arts that I've been doing. And um, if you've enjoyed drawing along to this one, make sure you give me a uh, thumbs up, like, that would be appreciated. And if you want to make a suggestion, then get a grown up to drop me a line on my Instagram account, which is at ad underscore art underscore king, and perhaps I'll choose your drawing to do next time. Um, all my details are below, but that's it for today. Um, thanks for drawing along, and I'll see you again on Ad Art. Bye for now. <laughs>